The last time Bobby Bowden was inside Dote Campbell Stadium, fans were saying goodbye to defensive coordinator Mickey Andrews. They had no idea they were also saying goodbye to the winningest coach in major college football history. But that all changes on Saturday as the home fans will finally have the chance to say thank you. The moment is also important to the players, most of which who could only dream about playing for Coach Bowden. That's going to be amazing, especially especially him on the sidelines. You know, it's going to be just like when I was a kid, just dreaming about him coaching me when, when I'm in the backyard playing football. So it's going to be awesome. Only five players remain from the Bowden era, and those players understand what it means to suit up for a legend. It's a great feeling. It's nice to know you were there. I can tell my kids and my grandkids if I live that long, say, hey, I played for Coach Bowden. He, he's a legend. And, uh, and he, he was an influence on many, many people throughout the years. And uh, I'm just very honored that I was a part of that in the last year. Uh, Coach Bob is Coach Bob. I mean, Coach Bobby Bob. And when you say that name, I guess I was a part of that tradition with Coach Bobby Bob because it, he was he coached me for one season, but that one season was a rememberable season. The memories began on the recruiting trail, where Bowden was legendary in the way he related to potential Seminoles. You know, people trusted him because they saw him that through his eyes and the way he communicated with people that, you know, he was genuine. And I think that was one of the greatest things he was. And, and, he, and he, he could just talk to you as if, and, and within two minutes, you felt like you knew him for 20 years. He, he means well. He, he's more concerned about the player than he is about a pitch yet. And uh, that was a great quality about him. Uh, you know, he's a legend. I, I, I did. I want to come play for a legend. You, you, you know, during the recruiting process, when the coaches allowed Mr. to go out and recruit, Coach Bowen, you know, told me I was the first um, recruit of my class that he was to come to visit. And, yeah, like that really stood out to me. So I was like, wow, I didn't know I was that type yeah. of player or, you yeah, know, that, sure that special. Bowden's final game came at the Gator Bowl, where the Seminoles defeated West Virginia. And his final send-off came on the shoulders of his players. A memorable moment for all. It was neat. It was, uh... Them gave you a little bit of a goosebumps, you know, like, you know, there's a legend that's been in the game for many, many, many years. And uh, to, to say you're a part of his team at one point is definitely an honor. Not many people can say that. Now a new era of Seminoles have helped return Florida State to national prominence, and they will have the chance to make the coaches return to Doe Campbell Stadium, something no one will ever forget. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.